I can't wait till Carly gets back. The kid can't wait. Do we know yet when that will be? No. So in the meantime, I'm all he's got. If something happens to him, he's out of luck and so is Carly because he'll be raised by a quarter main or Dr. Jones or who knows who. Look, it's okay for Carly if she wants to postpone certain things for a certain time, but the baby has a life right now that can't be postponed. You're here. So, one thing he needs is for me to stop being a target. Here, here. I'm not saying you two can do anything about it. I'm working on that myself. I just want you to know, I know, okay? Another thing he needs to live his life is the right people looking after him. I don't mean there's anything wrong with Leticia. She's great. But he was born premature. He had a heart defect and a heart surgery. I think, I think he needs someone regular around who knows about medical things. A monthly checkup with the doctor is fine. Great. But a home care nurse once or twice a week would be better. Can, can you give me some names? Sure. How about we start with mine? Uh, Bobby, I don't want you to burn out. Oh, come on, we're so strenuous. I mean, you know, I could come by after work. I could come by on my lunch hour. I mean, that's basically what I'm doing now anyway. And as you said yourself, all it takes is someone who's familiar with the case and knows what to look for. And besides, why should you pay somebody? You can get me for free. You don't look now, Bobby, but I think you just took the bait. Or maybe he did. <laughs> the third thing he needs, and it's what's most important, is to be an official person in his own right. He needs a name. First, middle, and last. Do you think Carly will mind? Jason, I think it's high time you gave that baby a name. Good. So how does it work? Because I want to be done by the book. In case something happens, I want people to know where he belongs and who has a right to see him and who doesn't have a right to be in his life. Well, it's, um, it's probably as simple as, as calling the county office of uh, whatever records. Um, I imagine that they would issue an amended birth certificate. Actually, you could have the baby christened. I mean, it's public and it's indisputable. It's a ceremony. It takes place in a church. Uh, yeah, um, a priest or a minister or whatever um, blesses the baby by name and welcomes him into the world. And then another couple, uh, the godparents, they stand up for the baby and they speak for him. Speak for him how? Jason, you believe in God? Sure. God lives in heaven and made everything. Yeah. Uh, well, the godparents ask for God's love and protection for the baby and they promise to love and protect him too. What does the kid have to do? Basically, he just gets some water trickled on his head, and he wears a special outfit for the occasion, and then he gets a certificate saying that he was baptized, which is just another name for the christening. And um, usually you invite your friends, and then sometimes you have a little party afterward at home. Uh, so the priest gives him his name, which makes it from God, so it can't be taken away. Yeah, something like that. And there's a certificate that says so. Mm, more or less. Okay, now, look, godparents. They're not the same thing as grandparents, right? No, no, why? Because Alan and the Quartermains are coming anywhere near this kid. Aw, oh, Jason, come on. Don't you think that's a little cold? I mean, I realize that you may not think of them as being your parents, but still, the fact remains. They try <laughs> to steal him from me. Like he was a wallet. And they'll do it again. Look, Bobby, I know they're your friends, but if we have this christening, I don't want them knowing about it. Jason, come on. Your mother and father, or rather, Monica and Alan, you know, are sometimes complicated, sometimes very difficult people. But to try to shut them out of their grandchild's life for good, they don't deserve they that. They got me to go over their house for Emily's birthday. They got her to ask me to bring the kid. And when I was ready to go home and wanted him back, they said no. They kept him out of my reach and said he was staying with them. Who said that? Not Monica, Alan, Edward, and Dr. Jones. You mean they physically? <sighs> wow. <laughs> you know what that says to me? Tony's in some kind of a free fall. 
Well, I thought Emily said it was mostly AJ. Uh, AJ just wants to be a part of something. It almost doesn't matter what. Look, okay, forget that. Godparents. So if they aren't the same thing as grandparents, what are they? Well, actually, they're kind of like an extra aunt or an uncle, except that they're not related to the baby by blood. They're more like relatives of the baby's soul. And you get to pick them yourself. Anybody I want? Well, they should be of the same religion of the church where the christening is happening. But yeah, anybody that you trust to look after your child. Basically, what the godparents agree to do is take responsibility for the child if something should happen to the parents. It's perfect. What, do they have to be parents themselves? No. No, they can be old or young or married or single. Just anybody that you trust to look after your child. You know, the day that Lucas got christened, um, the people who were waiting next up had a 10-year-old for a godfather. But I think it may be different from church to church. Is there a, a particular church that you're affiliated with? Queen of Angels. Oh, you're Catholic. Sonny was. Yeah, I am too. Does it matter? Well, um, I don't know what their particular rules are, but I'm sure they have some. Rules against babies? <laughs> you know something? You're right about that. Why am I inventing obstacles? Why don't I call a priest and I'll find out? Then I could ask whoever I wanted to ask, couldn't I? Sis Ward. Hey, it's me. Uh, look, knock on my door in the morning before you take off, okay? What's up? Well, like I said, I need to make some changes, and I'm making them. Not just the legal stuff we talked about. There's a job I think only you can do. All right, I'll see you then. Thanks. Well, Father Coach remembers Sonny, and he remembers you, and he thinks he can have most, if not all, of the choir ready for a service Friday afternoon, if that suits you. Yeah, I guess the choir's okay. I gather Sonny bought the church a new organ. He did? Queen of Angels? Yeah, well, you know, Father Coase kept going on and on about how good the sound was, and uh, I don't think he would be doing that with me unless... <sighs> oh, by the way, he wants to see you beforehand. Okay. I mean, I don't think it's anything dire, but... Remember earlier when I asked you about God, what you said to me? Why don't you just say that to him? Fine. And also, I told him that the baby's mother wasn't well, which isn't a lie, certainly, I'll but... I'll tell him the rest if he asks. <clears throat> you know something? Why don't you just go ahead and do that, and I'm sure it'll be fine. You know, you may be easy to shoot at, but you're very hard to object to. You hit the nail on the head. So, who do you want to invite? Uh, Ronaldo? Besides Ronaldo. Hmm. Uh, no, I'll, th I'll think about that. You know, this is an excellent idea. I mean, I am really in favor of rituals because when all is said and done, you... Who the hell am I kidding? I went to my own wedding, I went to Michael's first communion, everything else I skipped. But this is good, and it's right. <sighs> yeah, well, Mike, I've never been to a christening. I've only ever been to funerals. And today I thought about funerals. Joseph's and Pete's. Listen. Hey. The baby is okay. And you are doing what you promised to do for him. By the way, did the cops ever show up at the docks? If they did, there was nothing to be found by then. Well, you're going to get a reputation like Batman or the Green Hornet or, uh, you know, possible massacre, uh, but uh, you escape without a scratch. It's the kind of thing that sends Catholic grandmothers right to church to light candles. The kid needs godparents. You're okay. You've got till Friday. Did you have godparents? No, I must have. But I was a rotten kid, so they probably changed their names and went into a witness protection program. Still, you know how it works? I don't think there's any special trick to it. Well, you, you busy Friday afternoon? I don't have to be. You want to be one of them? Me be the godfather? 
Only if you want. I can do that. Cool. <laughs> hey, the kid's got a godfather. And I got a godson. <laughs> well, it's probably uh, totally inappropriate to drink to something like that, but my son bought a church, an organ, so I'm going to drink to it anyway. Since this is a professional call now, I'm not going to mention the last 10 minutes that I spent making the most ridiculous faces at your child. Well, everybody does that but me. Yeah, well, I guess he's a chip off the old block, because I just bored him right back to sleep. He's so beautiful. Queen of Angels is right. Refreshments for how many? <laughs> or, or do you want to make this a dinner? Mike, I'm thinking uh, three or four people. That's it? All right, let's start here. What I want to make clear is who's not invited. Dr. Jones is not. Bobby, the Quartermains are not. Jason, I know why you're doing this. No, but there are some things that you don't get to have exactly the way you There's want. No you know, a christening isn't some kind of a secret initiation rite. It's in a church by the light of day in a public place. Bobby, and if the word that's gets it. out, there's no Quartermains. <laughs>